Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Will Cooper of Crowell, Gillis and Cooper Law Firm and today we're talking all about grandparents and your visitation rights. Welcome to the show my friend, nice to see you it's again. nice to see you Troy. We actually asked our viewers on Facebook some things that they would like us to ask you. So you're ready to be put on the hot seat? Oh, yeah. Okay, we like these parts. As a grandparent, do I have any visitation rights with my grandchildren? Now, I would assume they're just saying grandparents are allowed to come and visit whenever they want. Well, I mean, and so what this is getting into is when you're involved in some kind of a divorce Dis oh. or, or those issues, then that's where this comes up. And there are three circumstances that where grandparents are entitled to visitation, i.e. one of the uh, parent dies, yep. a court terminates your parental rights, or you get a divorce and the other parent, the other, your um, ex-husband or yes. wife is awarded custody. So in those situations where that happens, then a grandparent can petition the court for visitation Oh my gosh. Of the minor child. I can't believe you have to do that. Oh yeah. I must live in a bubble. And, and, and here's the, the real interesting part is if those circumstances don't exist, mm -hmm. so imagine you have a situation where you have a couple, they're estranged from one grandparent or the other, and they don't allow the grandparent then to visit the children to visit their grandparents mm. anymore. So in that situation, even though the parents may be together, the grandparents still may have visitation rights. And, that, and, and the factors under that are this. You have to show that you had a viable relationship with the child. That, and that viable relationship, in order to prove that, you have to show that you, oh, you had a relationship over 12 months, which included overnight visits yes. and a partial support financially for at least six months. And in that situation, you can also petition the court and you would have to show that it was in the child's best interest for them to visit you as a grandparent. I couldn't imagine life without my grandparents. I think they have such a wealth of knowledge. And you know what I love about them? No judgment. Correct. They take you how you are. Correct. Uh, one of our viewers said, if that's the case, how do I start the process? So you start the process by you literally, you definitely need an attorney in this because you're going to have to file a petition for visitation rights with our Chancery Court here in Lowndes County or the Golden Triangle. And you're gonna to have to go in front of a judge and petition the court for those to be allowed. And you will have to prove the circumstances that we just discussed. About. How? often do you see something like this in the state of Mississippi? You, you would really be surprised a, a, a lot because what you see so many times, well of course there are parents that are getting divorced every day and so they run into the circumstance a, a lot but then you get into the point where these you know kids that have that have children yeah. don't have relationships with their parents and the parents want to see the grandchildren. They had a relationship at one time, but because of some family dispute, they no longer get to see their grandchildren. Well, this is the next question. One of them have said, my grandchild is in a abusive household. Can I get custody of my grandchild? And, and that's a totally different issue. But in that, courts favor, of course, leaving children with their parents. Right. But take, for example, you have parents, they've got involved in drugs. Yes. They're now not doing a very good job of parenting their child. Then the grandparents have a right to come in and actually get custody of that grandchild. Another option is a guardianship there. I was about to ask you about guardianship, but you always give us such great advice. Oh, well, thank you. I just wish we didn't always have to go to court to settle these things. No, right? that's right. It's much better to, to resolve it outside I of court. I know. We appreciate you. Thank you so if much. If you want to find out more information or you're having problems that within this topic, give Will Cooper of Crowell Gillis and Cooper Law Firm a call, and they're going to steer you in the right track. We'll be back after this short break.